What's going on guys? Welcome back to Alcar Kitchen. I'm Blake Melbourne. Today we're gonna do a nice delicious dish. Ooh, fuck. A nice delicious dish. We're gonna do a chorizo creamy pasta. This is simple, easy, quick, so let's fucking get into it, shall we? Cool. Over here, I've just got some water heating up for our pasta. We've got a pan and a heater. This is for two people, right? So if you want to do this for yourself, just fucking cut it in half, you know what I mean? So we're going to use one brown onion. Cut it pretty thin. Not crazy thick, all right? So slice that up, and then we'll get that on the pan with some butter. All right, so heat on the pan. Just a little bit of butter. You want it just nice and bubbly before I put our pasta in. All right, so. You want onion? So it's gonna cook that for a couple of minutes and I'll chuck this garlic in there. So these are our sausages that we're using, right? So I've already done the rest, but using four. If you want to cook this for yourself, just use two sausages. I will take this skin off, just like that. So we're just gonna rip them up. Little tiny little pieces, just like that. This lazy rip. You should have fingers like this. Oh, that's that skin girl, you get out of there. Got four crushed garlics in. Mix that all around. That's why that butter's still fresh in there, not fucking all the way cooked. Sausages. Sausages. Wow. It's not going in there. Let's break them up. So we'll throw, make sure all that garlic's broken up and mixed in it. So they've been cooking about four to five minutes. We've got some mascarpone here. Big old dollop. And a half. And then we've got some heavy cream. So about 180 to 200 ml of cream. And just stir it up for a... To break it all down, I'm just giving that a stir and that's thickening up and smelling and looking. Yeah, and now our pasta. Wrap it in. Why I do it, I just pitch up two people eating it. And that's about it. <laughs> so I give that a little stir. Salt. And a decent teaspoon in. Alright, so we've got our creamy chorizos just doing their thing and we've got our parcel cooking away. We need one skin. Give it a little wash. Wank him off and dry. And we'll chop her up. Turn the guts. Quite big zucchini, so this will do for two people. Now, everyone cuts different way on these, but this is how I do it. I just like doing three and then just down the end. So chop it up and then we'll get another pan and we'll cook this up. I'm just gonna take this off for a moment because the pasta's still got a while to go because we're gonna throw that pasta in the mix but we'll do our zucchini now. So put that on a chicken board somewhere, I don't care, and get another pan. All right, pan, a little bit of oil. Don't go too skitch, you don't want to fucking oily really pasta, do ya? Hey? Rosemary stick in, get a little crackling. And then uh, chop the zucchini. Salt, black pepper. About half a teaspoon for both, mix it around. Well, it's been a few minutes now. I'm starting to cook nicely, you can get rid of that. Rosemary out of there. Take this off, swap with your boy. Pack these on, start heating this up a bit, see how nice and thick it's gotten. Lovely, look at that. That will just connect with that pasta absolutely beautifully. Oh wow, you're doing good. Voila! This is a very lazy way, but I'm doing it because I want to keep that water in it. Just put that on there and just don't put too much in there, but let's see how we go. Rolling it over. Looks like some badass like mac and cheese or some shit. I lost one! Oh boy. Now, don't forget our boys. There you go. Now I'm just gonna save a bit just for um, serving up, you know? 
absorb with everything else in there. Now, some chopped up parsley as well. And I also want to keep a little bit of that for garnishing as well. Oh, mix it all up and then we can plate this up. Have a look at this, guys. I mean, oh my goodness. It smells fucking unreal. I oh know my lunch is fucking sorted for the day, isn't it? All right, guys, so a little bit of uh, parmesan on the top. Just a little bit of cracked pepper. And then zucchini to go on top. And that chopped up parsley just to finish up. There you have it guys. Creamy chorizo pasta. Quick, easy, delicious. Make that for your miso, your mum, your friend, or just eat it for yourself, but try that. I'm Blake Mel in the Sankar Kitchen. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next episode.